come to this table to remember him, to remember his death till he come. I'm going to take a few thoughts this morning from the book of John, the first chapter. He came into his own, and his own received him not. But, now I'm a big fan of, of this, um, this contrast that um, is in the word of God continually. It, it paints, it shows you the way things are, the way things, they really are this way. But then God intercedes. God interjects himself into the impossible. And then it shows, reveals the results of that, of God doing something, God working. Now, we all know that this, this table is the highlight of that contrast. We were without hope. We were without God in the world. And look what God has accomplished in the person of Christ Jesus. He's done the very thing that was impossible for man to do. Yeah. He sent his son to take away sin by the sacrifice of himself. When we were without strength, he, in due time, he died, to, took away our sins. But as many as received him, have you received him? Yeah, praise God. See, you've come to this table, you're welcome if you've received him. <laughs> welcome. He received them, as many as received to, to them. Now, this sounds personal to me. Listen to this. This is to them. Gave you power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Now, this is a personal salvation. I heard one man said it's, it's cosmic. <laughs> it, it's for the, the world, and yet... It's for them. No one else is going to get in but them. You say, that sounds kind of exclusive. I'm talking about them that believe. See, this table is not going to really benefit anybody except them. Them that believe. These are the ones, these are the ones, the persons that God has given power to be the sons of God. Now notice how John doesn't highlight our responsibility as much as he highlights God's, what God's done, which were born not of blood. It wasn't your lineage that brought you into Christ. It was Christ that brought you into the lineage, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh. Now, this should end all controversy whether or not our will had something to do with us being in Christ. If this is the only verse we had, this could end that argument forever. Yeah. Not of the will, not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man. Amen. I didn't come here today because I come up with this idea. Well, how'd you come here? I believed. And he gave me power to become a son of God. Amen. Nor of the will of man. Let's highlight, let's shine the flashlight on the one who is salvation, but of God. It's his will. By his own right arm, he brought salvation. He's triumphed over Satan. He destroyed him that had the power of death. Now, Satan really did have the power of death because all had sinned. Remember, sin brought in death. And Jesus took away sin. He took it away. And what did that leave Satan with? No power of death. Amen. He robbed him. And he did it through death. Only God could do this. Amen. And look, he did it. And he wants us to remember what happened that day on the cross. Because it's in that recollection. It's in that when our minds are filled with what Jesus has accomplished for us, we can, re, we can remember him with profit. We can gain something that we can't gain in any other mindset. Remember Christ, and you'll make great leaps of advancement. And so he's given us a, tight, a table. Why? Because this is exactly what he wants. He wants us to be conformed into the image of his son and this table. See, God, this is God's desire. It shows his mercy, his loving kindness. It shows his judgment. It shows it all in one setting. 
the table of the Lord. Let's thank him again as we remember him. Let's pray.